Hey guys, I'm Hendrine and welcome to a very, 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 very dirty Edgy Clayway Studio! Yeah, guys, I cannot, I cannot take it. Every surface is covered right now and I'm not digging it. But yeah, I'll get to that now now. Today, let's get to today. Today we're making a uh, pots and we're going to be putting holes in them now i've got quite a cool trick to show you how to make holes in your pots you do not need any fancy tools if you have a drill that might be handy but we'll get there i just yeah i just need to clean the studio before my mind like explodes because i can't even make the holes for the pots right now because there's no surface to put it on tools to make the holes and by fancy tools I mean these they're amazing I'm not gonna lie they're great to make holes with but I also get super annoyed because when I use these I often have to like get a pin tool and get the clay out of them it gets really annoying because the clay gets stuck in there quite a bit but usually these are pretty cool it's just how fast you work and how much clay gets stuck in it and how annoyed you get which is usually why I have my pin tool, which I don't have because I washed it. Hold on. Isn't it amazing in a pottery studio for the potters out there when you're looking for a pin tool, you can never find one, but you always have about 20 in your studio, even though you have no idea where they are. If you're a person that enjoys DIY, which we've established I'm not really that good at, I enjoy it, but I can't say that, um, I'm that great at it. To be honest, I don't really enjoy it. Let's not lie. Okay. The uh, DIYing is, is so much fun. I'd rather have someone else do it though. But if you have a drill, get some drill bits. These, this is quite a big one. Boop, work just as well as these, surprisingly enough. Because obviously when you're drilling, because of the grooves in the drill bit, you can easily get through. I actually have a screwdriver which I've never used to make holes with so I'm going to have a little bit of an experiment today and see if the screwdriver works the same as the drill bit but I mean I know the drill bit works but I'm just going to see if I have a steady enough hand to use the screwdriver because it's not very sharp. This one's quite sharp whereas this one is not that much so I guess we'll see what happens. I'm going to start with this pot. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'll just use all the tools sim simultaneously and see what happens. I'm not going to have a specific order. Just go for it. Little tip. When you are making holes, I would suggest start from the top and work your way down. 
Reason is, if you start at the bottom and you start making holes and this is not dry enough or something isn't steady, it may actually collapse and fall in on itself. So I would suggest start at the top and then move your way down systematically. And also the gaps, don't make a massive gap and then leave this little bit of clay to support it and then make another massive gap because yeah, it will definitely fall in on itself in the kiln. You gotta love the kiln. Keep it in mind, the kiln has a mind of its own. Ah, uh, that's enough talking. Let's start from the top and work our way down. I'll start with the drill bit so you guys can see what it does. Notice how I'm supporting my hand uh, at the back of the pot. Just because I'm putting pressure on it, I'm just scared that if you push too hard, because it's still a little hard, it may actually break. Hole number one, see, a perfect circle. These are great. If this happens where a part of the wall has collapsed, you'll see it's not a perfect circle here. I'm just gonna take a paintbrush, take some water. Out. Who has to know that there was a problem? Yeah. Let me go put him. Let's put him here. Let's see. Yeah, that works. It's not as neat as the other ones. When you're making your holes, just remember before the pot dries, just to check on the inside and make sure that it's even and take your paintbrush and just, you know, smooth the edges out. The reason why I like to do my edges smooth is when you glaze it, if you've got too many sharp edges, the glaze doesn't always take on the sharp edges, but if the edges are smooth, then the glaze tends to cover it. Otherwise, it sometimes leaves these lines Then you can see the clay through it. And also check at the bottom to see if there's anything left inside. So I just want to take that out. That didn't work. That worked. Now I'm going to have some fun and just go nuts. Part of me is like, how far can I push this? So I'm gonna go a little bit more because it has quite a few holes right now. Um, but I'm still gonna go for it. Why not? <laughs> I think that is about as far as I'm willing to push it. Let us not tempt fate right now. I just need to clean him up a little. Cause there's a lot happening in there. He is all done, yay! 
I like it. Luckily, I didn't make too many holes and it is still in one piece. Thank goodness. Ooh, the stand's falling. Oh my God, the stand's falling! Well, that didn't go as planned. Is it staying? <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's move it back. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, now my stand is completely covered in clay, but it's fine. If you're making holes on something that's really really dry you can easily crack your pot and i hate that I'm pretty sure you do too so remember to cover your stuff if you are not working as fast as you would like i thought i would do this one a lot faster than i did I'm kind of out of practice i haven't been doing that much i'm more into etching and drawing so i guess i need to practice but yeah thanks so much for tuning in today guys let me know if you have any questions or drop some comments below i'd love to hear from you guys and yeah, have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye! Please stop right there.